Alrighty guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing an educational doctor game where I've taken us to a very... You see the group of survivors spawned together just then? Cheeky teabag to acknowledge each other. This is going to be a good game for us. We got some really good add-ons. We see one. There were two people. I see the box. <laughs> one. I will chase that based on the fact I want to be able to get my build ready to rock and roll. You might be looking at my build thinking, Hey Goose, that's not a normal doctor build. And you're right. You are definitely right. I don't think you've got balanced, honey. I think you got dead hard. You're looking at me too much. Alright, okay, that's good. I saved my build, and we're going to be using it later. It allows me to know where the other guys were. We need two of them spawned together. Now, you'll notice my build has no form of regression, but it has a world of hurt in terms of stability. That thrilling tremor info is huge. I could use my ability right now, but I don't need to. I don't need to. I got scratches underneath. Nice fading what? Left? Let's chase these and see where they lead. Fading again. Running behind me from a lady. I know what those feet sound like, my dear. Well played. I'm gonna punish her, and guess what? That's too cute. Ooh, did she recover in time? Lucky ducky. Lucky ducky. We got one really good pallet out of the way. That's fine. I'm going to lose heartbeat with modern abuse and apply calm to these two guys above me. I'm going to have a tiny, tiny heartbeat. And it sounds to me like they didn't run and I'm going to punish that. Now I'm going to pick up because I want her to be my nemesis. I want her to DS me right now. And there it is. Get it out of the way nice and early. Now she's nemesis. You might be wondering, what's so good about that? Now when I down her and pick her up, I will have information of where every single player is. I'm going to be able to seal certain jennies, and I'll be able to seal everything for at least 45 seconds. That was really well played by her, poorly played by me. Alright, that's good. She's my obsession. Let's pick up through Thrilling Tremor. We've got the mind game. She doesn't have DS anymore. Let's find out where every single person is. You see that generator down there to my left hand side? I can force two people off if I get in between both these gens. All I gotta do now is press the control key and he is off that Jenny. For the next well, he's off that Jenny. He is now off that generator for the next 45 seconds. I don't know why this one didn't work, but the other one did. You'll notice that Jenny is now sealed for the next just shy of a minute. Got a girl coming in for a save nice and early. Let's take a free hit. I tried to go for the grab rather than the hit. Yeah, I'll take a free pallet too, cutie. That was not a good call. And now you're in a bad spot. We're going to punish her for it and get another hook going. So you notice how I forced that guy off that generator? The lack here is the luster of uh, stability and regression. Therefore, that's why I'd run Surge or Horn of Ground in wake of where we're actually missing out. Now we can hear somebody's on that. That's a Jeff. Let's moonwalk down a bit. Hello, mate. There you go. Generator is now sealed for the remainder of the time. It's not a lot, not a lot of time, but still good, still helpful. Yeah, we took the free hit. Jeff cycled a little bit. We almost have our shock built back up. That tiny heartbeat's gonna hurt. I'll punish that guy, not paying attention. Did get the heal off. Gonna punish you too, cutie. Don't know what we're doing. It looks like she's gonna be throwing in the towel. We'll be punishing her for it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna seal that Jenny in case somebody's on it. And I'm gonna do that. That way if Jeff was trying to complete that generator, that forced him to let go of it. Poor thrilling tremor. And guess what? Jeff was trying to do it. Now I know I got somebody all the way down here. This Jenny's sealed for the next couple of seconds. I need to make a decision. He can have that generator. I'm not worried. Jeff coming back in waiting. Jeff! Not your time, sh sunshine. That way Surge would have been phenomenal. We got one dead. We got one upstairs. We got one working on a generator down here. Now I could put that guy up, but we've got a girl out in the open who's my obsession. Who's going to be me stalling generators yet again for another terrifying 45 seconds, keep in mind. So she's going to make a dead hard play. I'm going to make a shock play. That's fine. We're going to just do that. And down she goes as punishment. Pick him up, take him to the hook. Jeff should be getting healed or saved. That is going to be my obsession as well. Let's try and force some people off gens. It is activated the perk. They're going to greed for that. I don't have shock shock just yet. I do have to do this instead. Force them off that. There you go. The generator sealed itself. That Jenny will not be workable for the next 35 seconds. He scratches fading behind there to the left. Fading wide. Let's sidestep moonwalk. Go for a bit of a cheeky play. We can hear this gen above me too. I see you, cutie. What's our play? We're going to play window? Nice. I'm going to play shock. Got the foot. Moonwalk. 
<laughs> gotcha. A little bit of a cheeky mind game on her. Do keep in mind the doctor received a bit of a nerf not too long ago, where he can now no longer... We're gonna go for a play here. Bad call, my love. Alright, so the nerf the doctor did receive was now basically he cannot build bloodlust and shock at the same time but this is a build purely about stability on gens the tiny heartbeat through modern abuse the information provided through situational awareness every jenny sealed remember that jenny was sealed for 45 seconds then guys 45 so surge would go hand in hand in this build to give you the stability and allowing you not to need to rotate back to the gen but i prefer born and ground i changed my build very slightly based on the fact i'm going to be on the game i didn't utilize my shot as much as i wanted to and you'll notice it was double calm add on so i could come around the corner for the cheeky hits do keep in mind i don't need a static blast to get them off the gen all i need to do is shock so that just goes to show you the power behind both Nemesis and uh, Dead Man Switch. I didn't get to utilize it a lot. I forced the DS out, which I could have got thrilling from, but at the same time, the whole reason we went for that, I heard the hatch is right there. Uh, the whole reason I went for that build was through Dead Man Switch. Dead Man Switch, Doctor is one of the only people that can force you off a generator. So guys, I know it's a short game, but if you like that and you're watching over at YouTube and you want to try this Doctor build out for yourself, by all means, go right ahead. It is a fantastic one. Your first perk is subject to change to better benefit you. You could run Corrupt if you wanted the full stability. You could run Monitor and the game offering like I did, a little bit cheeky then. You could go Horn of Ground if you want the lethality of Instant Down. You could go Surge. I wouldn't recommend Ruin. You could even go Surveillance depending on how you want to play it but guys i hope you all enjoyed it and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to try this build out for yourself and tell me in the comments down below how it goes but ggs guys well played and i'll see you in the next video